The table gives information about the temperature T at noon in a town for 50 days. So let's just take a second just to think about what the table means. It means that on six days there was a temperature that was bigger than 8 but uh, less than or equal to 12. On eight days there was a temperature that was bigger than 12 degrees but less than or equal to 16. And so on. So 13 days where we were between 16 and 20, 21 days where we were between 21 and 24, etc. Now write down the modal class. Modal class is the interval that came up the most times. So clearly the one that came up the most was this one here. Now be careful not to write down 21. Do not write down 21. 21 is the number of times this one came up. We're asked for the modal class interval, so we should say 20 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 24. Calculate an estimate, okay, an estimate for the mean temperature. The reason it's an estimate is because all these temperatures are in groups, so we can't be sure what the individual temperatures were. So what we do in this case is we take the midpoint of this group. Halfway between uh, 8 and 12 is 10. Halfway between 12 and 16 is 14. Halfway between 16 and 18 is t uh, 16 and 20 is 18. Halfway between 20 and 24 is 22. And halfway between 24 and 28 is 26. So we assume that the, there are 6 10 degrees that happen. We take the midpoint here. There are 8 14 degrees that happen. There are 13 18 degrees that happen. There are 21 22 degrees that happen. There are two times that 26 degrees happen. And to work out the mean, we multiply these together. So we're going to multiply those together. So get our calculator ready. Okay. So we have, six, uh, we have 10 multiplied by 6, which is clearly 60. We have 8 multiplied by 14. So 8 multiplied by 14 is going to be 112. We've got 18 multiplied by 13. So 18 multiplied by 13 is going to be 234. We've got 22 multiplied by 21, which is going to be equal to 462. And we've got 2 times 26 which is going to be equal to 52. So we add those up, add those numbers up. So we've got 60. So what we're going to do, and we're going to add those up and divide by the total frequency. Now the total frequency should add to 50 days. 6 add 8 is 14, add 13 is 27, add 21 is going to be equal to 48, add 2 is going to be equal to 50. So we're going to add these up and we're going to divide by 50. So we're going to say that we're going to add up 60, Add 112, add 234, add 462, add 52, and we're going to divide that by 50. Okay, and we get the answer 18.4. So we should show that we added them up. Sorry, we added them up, and these added to 920, I should have said. So the mean is 920 divided by 50, which we said before is equal to 18.4 degrees, 18.4 degrees. And you get four marks for doing that part of the question. So the key here was because they're in groups, take the midpoint, multiply the midpoint by the frequency, work each of those out, add up that total column that you've got and divide by the number of um, uh, the number of times you took a temperature, which was 50 times, in order to work out the mean temperature. And you get 18.4. Okay, draw a frequency polygon for the information on the table. Now, a frequency polygon is when you plot, um, you, should, you need to learn this, is when you plot the midpoint of the class, of each class, versus the frequency. Now, luckily, we're told the frequency along here, and we're told the temperature here. So all we've got to do is plot 10 versus 6. So 10 across and 6 up would be here. And then we're going to plot 14 and 8. So we're going to plot 14 and 8, which would be here. Then we're going to plot 18 and 13. So 18 with 13, which would be here. Then we're going to plot 22 with 21. So 22 with 21, which would be here. And lastly, we're going to plot 26 with 2. So 26 would go here 
with 2. And we're supposed to join up the points as follows. And that there would be our frequency polygon.